So I am Professor Anuradha Jain, Professor of Economics at Vivekananda Institute of Professional Studies. Today I will be discussing with you about the functions of Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India as you all know is the Central Bank of India which was established in the year 1935 under the Banking Regulation Act of 1934. Reserve Bank of India being an apex code of the center enjoys enormous power and functions under banking system in India. It has monopoly over the issue of bank notes and monetary system of the country. This power and functions as to issue of bank notes and currency system are governed by the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. Besides it, the Banking Regulation Act 1949 also empowers certain power and functions to the Reserve Bank of India. Now, all the functions of the Reserve Bank of India can be divided into different types of functions like traditional functions, promotional functions and all. So, first we will discuss about traditional functions of the Reserve Bank of India. The Reserve Bank of India performs all those functions which have traditionally been performed by the central bank of all the countries in the world. So, following are the main central banking functions of the Reserve Bank of India. The Reserve Bank of India perform large number of functions as the central bank of the country. The various functions being performed by the bank can be you know conventionally classified as I said into traditional central banking function, promotional functions and general banking function. So, traditional function first function is the bank of issue. All of you know that the notes and the currencies are issued by the Reserve Bank of India that is the central bank of India. So, as per the section 22 of the Reserve Bank of India Act the bank has the sole right to issue bank notes of all denomination other than the 1 rupee note and coins because coins of all the denominations but the distribution of 1 rupee note coins and coins of smaller denomination is made by the reserve bank as an agent of the government. Now before printing the notes the reserve bank has to get the prior approval of the government with regard to the color and design of notes. Now due to the low level of literacy in the country, the bank is very careful in the choice of the color and design of the notes to you know enable the public to distinguish easily the different denomination of the notes. Now to perform the issue function. The Reserve Bank of India has a separate issue department. This department maintains separately its assets and liabilities and publishes a statement of affairs every week. The second important function of the Reserve Bank of India is to act as a banker, agent and advisor to the government. The Reserve Bank of India is the agent of the central government and of all state governments except that of Jammu and Kashmir. The bank has the obligation to transact the banking business of the government also. Now to keep the cash balance as deposits free of interest to receive and make you know payments on behalf of the government and to carry out their exchange remittances and other banking operations. The Reserve Bank uh, helps both central and state government to float new loans and to manage public debt. The bank also makes ways and means you know advances to the government for 90 days. It provides loans and advances to the state and local authorities. Like all central banks, the RBI also act as advisor to the government. And not only on banking and financial matters, but also on a wide range of economic issues like including those of you know planning and resource mobilization and they also help in policy making of the government. 
Another function is banker's bank and lender of the last resort. The Reserve Bank of India acts as a banker's bank also. Now under the RBI Act 1934, the Banking Regulation Act 1930, 1949, the bank has been given wide power to supervise and control the banking operations of commercial and cooperative banks. So, at present the banks may be asked to keep any percentage between 3 to 15 percent of their total deposits as reserves with the RBI. This provision helps the centralization of cash reserves so as to enable the RBI to regulate and control the credit position in the country. The commercial banks can borrow from RBI against eligible securities or get financial banks accommodation in needy times by rediscounting bills of exchange. Now since commercial banks always uh, you know expect the RBI to come to their rescue in times of crisis, the reserve bank becomes not only bankers bank but also the lender of the last resort. Another important function of uh, central bank is controller of credit. The main function of the Reserve Bank of India is to formulate and administer monetary policy. Monetary policy is administered by the adoption of various methods of credit control. The bank has made use of both you know, qualitative and quantitative credit control measures. And the main objective of credit control is controlled monetary expansion. So, we need monetary expansion, but we also need that it should be controlled, it should be supervised, it should be monitored by the Central Bank of India. Now, in terms of uh, this objective, the RBI has endeavored to do two things mainly. First, to control the supply of credit, the economy. Second, to make available adequate so as to reduce the influence, uh, sorry, inflationary tendencies liquidity to meet the increasing developmental requirement of trade, industry, agriculture and other sectors of the economy. So, the bank adopts the following methods of uh, credit control, okay, like uh, they have in their hand bank rate, CRR, SLR. Okay, moral suasion, then they have margin requirements. So, various methods of uh, quantitative as well as qualitative credit control. Now, if we talk about promotional function, then RBI has uh, the central bank of a developing country. The Reserve Bank of India performs a variety of developmental and promotional functions. The bank's responsibilities include like mobilization of savings through the promotion of banking habits and the extension of banking system territorially and functionally. Now, since its inception, the bank has been providing agricultural credit. The bank has also taken initiative for provision of industrial finance and finance for foreign trade. Now, if you see that uh, how RBI helps the agricultural credit. So, you know that since agriculture happens to be the predominant occupation for nearly 80 percent of the people in India, the Reserve Bank has taken special interest in the provision of rural credit from its inception. It has, you know, set up a special department, namely agriculture credit department for the purpose of giving loan to the agriculture sector. Now, initially the Reserve Bank of India had set up two national funds. First was the National Agricultural Credit that is for long term operations fund on 3rd Feb 1956. Then second was National Agricultural Credit Fund on 30th June 1956 to provide long term medium term and short term loan finance facilities to uh, you know farmers through cooperative banks and in 1963 agriculture refinance and development uh, you know bank was created and to give further you know loan to the agriculture sector corporation was also set up 
for this purpose. And later in July 12, 1982, all the above said funds and institution were merged with the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development that is NABARTH, okay, which plays a very, very important role for uh, giving loan for agriculture sector and which works for, uh, for the purpose of rural development of the country. In the field of agricultural finance, NABARTH emerged as an apex institution. It provides refinance facilities, loans and advances to state cooperative banks, land development banks, regional rural banks and other approved financial institutions for financing production, marketing and investment activities relating to agriculture, rural development, rural industry and other rural credits. Now, if we come to the industrial finance, then the Reserve Bank of India is also catering to the financial needs of the industries in the country. Now, for this purpose, it has established a separate department known as Industrial Finance Department in 1957. This department renders valuable services in the establishment of those financial institutions which provide long-term industrial finance to the business houses. Now, in the establishment of the Industrial Finance Corporation, the bank has offered both financial and organizational help. Similarly, the Reserve Bank has also made contribution in the share capital of the State Finance Corporation. It provides short term, medium term and long term loans to these corporations. Now, in addition to these uh, corporations, the Reserve Bank of India has helped in the establishment of uh, refinance corporation and industrial credit and investment corporation also. The Reserve Bank also emerged, encourages the scheduled banks to give liberal credit facilities to small scale and medium scale industries. Uh, because we are motivating and uh, to you know small scale sectors to emerge. Even government also has come out with various uh, you know schemes and facilities to promote uh, the startups and small scale industries. Because this will give more employment opportunities to the people also that will help in creating you know job opportunities for all type of people in the country and the multiplier impact that will happen will also be you know given to the people of the country itself and that will help in the growth of the country and that will lead to the higher growth rate of our national income. So, for industrial finance you know the credit guarantee scheme was also enforced in 1960, but this scheme was closed in 1981, but again a new scheme known as the small loans guarantee scheme was started in 1981 to provide guarantee support to all eligible credit institutions assisting you know small scale industries. Now, through an amendment in the RBI Act 1965. A special fund was established to give financial assistance to industries. This fund is known as the National Industrial Credit Fund and this was for long term loan purposes and the Reserve Bank of India contributed more than 15 crore rupees to this fund. The main objective is to give loans to the Industrial Development Bank of India. For the establishment of the Unit Trust of India. In February 1963, the Reserve Bank of India again contributed an initial capital of rupees 2.5 crore. And this trust encourages savings, especially among the middle income group and even the small income group. Now, another area for promotional growth comes regarding the export credit. Various steps have been taken to provide export credit at internationally competitive rates of interest. The scheme of rediscounting of export bills 
especially export bills abroad at rates linked to international interest rate was made you know operative in 1993 to enable indian exporters to compete in international markets a few scheme namely pre shipment credit in foreign currency which is pcfc was introduced in november 1993 now under this scheme exporters are provided pre shipment credit in major foreign currencies for financing imported as well as domestic inputs of goods exported on the basis of confirmed export order and letter of credit the scheme has been you know liberalized in may 1994 by making available the running account facility to all exporters having a good credit record another function of rbi is you know related to exchange control because rbi has been entrusted with a comprehensive system of exchange control with the purpose of uh, you know conserving india's foreign exchange resources as a member of the imf india adopted multilateral payments but actually it has followed you know strict exchange control system now imports are rigidly controlled and imports of all unnecessary items are prohibited all external payments have been have to be made through authorized dealers controlled by rbi and foreign exchange is rationed and strictly according to the availability in the country this function is very important because you know balance of payment problem is also solved through this function of rbi because balance of payment problem can be solved by controlling imports or by increasing exports and controlling imports can be done by you know providing more facilities and more credit facilities to those industries which are producing you know import substitution items and therefore you know rbi through this system they try to control imports and try to you know motivate and encourage exports now exporters who acquire foreign exchange have to surrender their earnings to authorized dealer and get rupee in exchange because so that all foreign reserves can be at one place because rbi is considered to be the custodian of foreign reserves okay all custody of foreign reserves are with rbi in our country so besides purchase and sale of foreign securities by indians are strictly controlled and rbi exercises strict exchange control to prevent the wrong use of available foreign exchange resources and to utilize them for importing machinery raw material very essential for india's economic development so the reserve bank of india you know performs certain uh, general banking functions also through the banking department the banking department consists of uh, public accounts department the public department office the deposit account department and securities department the public account department maintains the deposits accounts of central state government and various other government departments now on their behalf it receives and uh, you know distributes money and carries out exchange and remittances transactions the public department office handles the public debt accounts of the central and the state government it deals with the issue conversion renewal interest payment etc of government loans the deposit accounts department keeps the accounts of statutory balances of the scheduled commercial banks it provides rediscounting facilities to banks and other financial institutions the securities department deals mainly with the purchase and sale of securities on behalf of government departments and approved institutions so rbi overall you have seen that play a very very important role and all the money that you see in circulation 
are all issued major majorly issued by the reserve bank of india and you know that all currencies of denomination 2 and above are issued by the reserve bank of india and therefore you will find the signature of the governor of the reserve bank of india all all the notes and the money issued by the government uh, sorry by the reserve bank of india is known as legal tender money why it is known as legal tender money because it is legally accepted by all and whatever is not legally accepted is not the legal tender money then there are you know limited legal tender unlimited legal tender again there is a bifurcation so currency issued by the government of india that is 1 rupee note and the coins are limited legal tender money but all the currencies issued by the reserve bank of india is unlimited legal tender money it means that to any amount of payment if you are supposed to pay you can make payment in any denomination and nobody can refuse to accept it legally so therefore it is unlimited legal tender money now last part like if we talk about evaluation of the reserve bank of india's function so since its inception the reserve bank of india has played an important role in the country economy it is necessary to evaluate the functions of the reserve bank of india and there are more achievements and the system has been controlled properly all you know economic stability has been brought by the reserve bank of india they immediately take action whenever it is required depending upon the economic situation of the country all of you have seen the time of corona and you know that rbi played a very very important role in the revival of the economy okay by changing the crr rate slr rate by changing the bank rate and also that they can infuse money in the economy they can motivate investors to invest because businesses were not performing well and people were have faced lot of problem so if you see the demand side economy then rbi has helped you know in the supply side as well as the demand side of the economy because if supply side economy means that they need to motivate the investment an investment will take place only when the business is profitable when the cost is less when people have money to invest so rbi plays a uh, important role in the mobilization of the resources in motivation of the investment and in corona after corona also you know rbi has played a very very important role in the revival of the economy so first you can see that cheap money policy even though every now and then the bank has changed the bank rate in accordance with the changing economic situation another achievement is that by following the minimum reserve system in the note issue policy the reserve bank of india keeps a sufficient degree of elasticity in the note issue of the currency now it has proved to be very useful for developing country like india because earlier there was a proportional reserve system and in proportional uh, reserve system you know that elasticity was not very high and every time whenever there was a matter of note issue rbi was supposed to maintain the reserves in proportion to the amount of the note issue so therefore that uh, liberty that flexibility was not there but now with the introduction of a minimum reserve system in the note issue policy uh, there is a flexibility there is elasticity more elasticity in terms of like issuing notes issuing currency in the economy the reserve bank of uh, india from time to time has tried to control the inflationary situation in the economy through its selective credit control measures now even though the bank has not been successful in its efforts many a times the inflationary situation would have been worse if the bank has not taken efforts to curb it and you have seen like in india many times ups and downs and inflation everybody bothers about inflation rate 
all the consumers okay they are more concerned about inflation rate because if the purchasing power goes down and because if the you know real income goes down when price increases so therefore nobody likes you know prices increasing at a very high rate so rbi takes different steps time to time to control inflation and they have been successful most of the time in controlling inflation in india the reserve bank has tried to maintain stability in the interest rate by the expansion and contraction of credit according to the commercial uh, you know requirements of the country now as an agent advisor and banker to the government the reserve bank efficiently manages manages the public debt policy it has uh, saved you know the government from financial crisis by lending short term loans from time to time as a lender of the last resort the bank has also extended its help to the commercial banks as and when required by them the reserve bank arrange finances to large scale medium scale small scale industries it has rendered financial and organizational assistance in the establishment of industrial finance corporation state finance corporation and the industrial development bank of india the reserve bank role in the provision of agriculture finance is credit worthy it can be said that it has achieved success in the agricultural field further the bank has taken efforts you know in reorganizing and reinforcing the cooperative movement in the different states special mention may be made about the setting up of nabard for the provision of agricultural finance now through the credit control measures the reserve bank has tried to control and regulate the volume of credit in the country the selective credit control have discouraged the speculative activities in agricultural products to the certain extent so the reserve bank of india has been successful in achieving stability in the external value of rupee during the last 47 50 years however the external value has not been you know stable since long when it was linked to basket of major international currencies but overall if we see that uh, reserve bank of india has been doing a uh, wonderful you know efforts in controlling and maintaining the economic stability in the country so this was a brief about the reserve bank of india they also you know periodically publishes statistical reports pertaining to money credit banking cooperation agriculture and all and this has greatly helped the government in analyzing and solving the economic problems of the country okay so rbi is uh, an important body of our country and i'm sure you must have understood the basics about what rbi is and what are the main functions which are played by the reserve bank of india thank you